If you need to call third-party APIs, then Application Craft offers uh, um, REST calls and SOAP calls. Let's just take a look at this app running. So it's just telling us here it's not running in native mode on a mobile device. It can't locate us. Fine. So it's coming in with the default parameters. If I now enter a zip code here and press locate, you'll see that it's locating us on the map. So let's go and see how that was done. The locate button was pressed and you can see that there's a JavaScript event here and that's where it's doing the is native app call to check that it's got a network connection or not. If it hasn't then it doesn't bother to do it uh, if it's in native mode. Uh, but this is really the interesting part here is the HTTP request call um, and here we can see the Google geocoding API that we're calling. Here's our callback function. If there's an error here, then we display the um, a message. If there's no error, then we're setting the address and we're going to set the longitude and latitude coordinates on our map using the app.set property. Uh, we can see that the parameters are being passed in here. Two parameters, the address parameter and the sensor parameter. If we go and have a quick look at the Google doc, you can see uh, that there's the actual call in their documentation and we're just mirroring that over here. So those are the two parameters being passed in. We're just telling it's a JSON uh, structure that's being passed. You can also pass in headers and we can also specify the timeout. So here you can see we're passing out, passing in uh, the timeout key and we're getting the timeout value actually from the field called txt timeout which is this one here. Um, let me just quickly refer you to the documentation. This has got some important things about time, timeouts and obviously full documentation on the, uh, the Ajax calls. The first one here, network timeout, that's just a general setting that Application Craft uses to timeout if you don't specify timeouts explicitly in your calls. Um, and here we have the documentation for HTTP request. All the parameters are described here. Also there's an equivalent one for making SOAP calls. And we also have uh, these applications available for download. Here's a slightly more advanced one. Let me just uh, run this in live mode as well. This shows something similar. We're getting the weather for a particular zip code and we can try out gets post, the same call with get a post or a soap call. And here we can see it's also populating the forecast underneath.